again, Rebecca here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing another random Friday layout, and here's all the items that I'm using. I did go ahead and pull out the Close to My Heart Timber collection again. These were just a couple of the 12 by 12 sheets that I had left over, and I love the colors in this, and it's fall, and it's like officially fall as of yesterday. Um, even though this is going up on the 25th, I am voicing this over on the 23rd, and fall's the 22nd, so woohoo! All right, so right there, I am going to go ahead and cut this zip strip off, and that um, ledger paper is going to serve as my background. Now, my trimmer blade is going a little dull, so I had a little bit of fuzzies right there that I just go ahead and trim right off with my scissors. Not that big of a deal. The fact that my trimmer is not trimming straight is a big deal, and no, I have not replaced it yet, right? I'm a horrible person, I guess. <laughs> Anyway, I did have this scrap of this beautiful wood grain paper, and normally, no, I do not keep scraps that size. But since this whole, I was working with this collection all through the month of August, and then I put it in my random Friday bin, and I had so many 12 by 12 sheets left from the collection, even after making one layout a week with this sucker for like two months, I decided just to keep everything because eventually I would be able to use it. Now, once I have no more 12 by 12 sheets, all those little scraps as that will get to will go to the wayside because then I have nothing left to save. <laughs> Not gonna save those and think that eventually I will pull them out and use them because guess what? I am never going to pull them out and use them. Just I I've, I've learned it. Just I don't do it. So um, if you want my scraps, I would be more than happy to ship you my scraps. <laughs> so right here I am gonna go ahead and tear this beautiful plaid paper. And then I'm going to cut off some of this. Um, it is like blue. It's like navy blue and white. It's like a starry night type thing. Only it's like the reverse of the starry night. Because you know it used to be blue with white. But it's white with blue. Anyway. I'm sorry. I digress. So right here I'm going to go ahead and see the back of that wood grain paper. It's beautiful plaid as well. But I have extra sheets of those. So it's totally fine. I'm going to go ahead and stick it right there. Now I'm doing something that I haven't done in a long time is rip paper. And uh, I used to do this a lot where I would rip on two sides and then the next layer I would rip the other two sides, which is what I'm going to do right here. So see, I'm going to adhere this down and I'm trying to see like the side, the top and the left are ripped. And so I'm going to do the right and the bottom now. Now this little piece right here that I rip off, that goes into the recycling bin because, you know, it's all wonky and tore up and stuff. And actually, no, it doesn't. I actually end up using it on the layout. I am so sorry. See right here, we're going to go ahead and get that just like that. So I am going to go ahead and adhere it kind of half in, half on. I do leave a little bit of a bigger border to the left. And I'm going to go ahead and adhere this down to the page because I absolutely adore it. All right, so we're gonna get this stuck down and I am actually going to use the line on the ledger paper just to make sure that it's lined up correctly. And see, there is that piece that I tore off and I was thinking I was gonna put it there, but then guess what? I'm like, oh, you know what? Right over here needs something. So all those little pieces that I tore off, I'm gonna use them. And I thought I tossed them to the wayside. So yeah, I was able to use all those little torn pieces and I'm super excited about that. I also used some of these little zip strips. So I did have those sitting around in my kit as well. And I was just able to use them up, which made me feel good. You know what I'm saying? Cause I was using stuff up. I do end up covering one of them completely up with an embellishment. Totally okay with that though. Cause it's on a layout it's used and I didn't have to throw it in the recycling bin. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of the die cuts that I have left over as well, and I'm just gonna go ahead and stick this little mountain right there. Now you may think, what does this picture have to do with mountains? It has nothing to do with mountains. Those are my stalagmites or stalactites because we went, me and Sam went to Merrimack Caverns and we stayed in a hotel room and this was the day that we went there and he had a lot of fun. So we've seen a lot of fun stuff and uh, it was just me and him in the hotel room before we were getting ready to go. It's like a little family outing. We were bored, had nothing to do that weekend, and decided that we would just head off to Merrimack Cabins. And we stayed at a hotel room the night, and then 
went to see everything that was in the caverns the next day. I had never been to Merrimack Caverns. That's in uh, Missouri, southern Missouri, in case anybody's wanting to know. I'm going to go ahead and get this popped up on just a bit of foam tape. I do pop it off of the, the picture on the cluster as well because I'm okay with that. I'm going to go ahead and try to work in some of these different cards and such. Now I do go ahead and cut that, and then I'm going to go ahead and you're going to see right here, I'm going to cut it in half. So I'm thinking I'm going to do this, and then I'm like, you know what would be really cool? Is if I split it, right? So I'm going to pull it back out, grab my scissors, cut that right in half, stick just a little bit more adhesive on the top on it, and then we're going to make it look like it's just running in. That was just to bring some red in because my shirt's kind of that maroonish, orangish color. And just to bring that to the forefront. And that is stuck down. And I'm going to keep going through all of the little cards and stuff, which I do really like that card. But I'm like, wow, that's really going to cut that all off. So let's look for something else. And then I'm like, no, I really like this card. It's like bound and determined to use stuff. That is where it's going to sit. I'm not going to lie to you. I do pop up the picture and I just join my two little decor, my two little clusters. And I'm going to go ahead and do my journaling on that card. Basically, it says me and Sam's trip to Merrimack Caverns. And I do that in a brown. Um, I'm trying to figure out the name of that pin right there. I have like, I have every color. <laughs> It is a Stadler Triplis Fine Liar. I have those and I have some other ones that my friend at work got me for Christmas last year. <laughs> Beautiful. They're not Stadler, but they are fine liners. I don't know what they're called. Anyway, not that big of a deal, huh? All right, so I do go ahead and pull the 12 by 12 sticker sheet back out and just grab some of the stickers off it. I do have two of those sheets because, as you know, I had two of these collections. Um... I did not make that mistake for September. <laughs> I have a lot. I bought a lot of those two collections. The Summer Vibes and the Timber Collection. I loved them. I did love the Bloom with Grace and the uh, Comfort and Joy. But I kind of do, you know, I do an October daily and I do a December daily. So I don't do a lot of 12 by 12 layouts. Uh, I do mini albums to document everything. So... I don't really have a lot of leftover Christmas or fall pictures um, because I have albums dedicated to those times. So, I mean, more so I have more so fall because, obviously, fall is more than just October. But, you know, Christmas is just December. So, there you go. All right, so I do go ahead and grab the twine that I had pulled out of my stash that completely, perfectly, and totally matched this timber collection. And I used it all month long in... August and I just left it with the kit because I have so much of that stuff that I didn't need to you know not keep it tucked away and I do just go ahead and cluster this this uh, baker's twine up like it is sewing thread just to give a little pop and dimension um, FYI it's very thick so <laughs> you know it does make stuff pop up I'm okay with that it'll flatten back out and uh when it goes in the layout, because my layouts have like, you know, a hundred, or my albums have like anywhere from 80 to a hundred pages in them, because I make them into like ring binders, and they're huge. So anyway, there is not going to be too much more that I do to the layout. I am going to go ahead and grab some um, Heidi Swap Color Shine in the T, and I'm going to splatter that all around the page. See, right there. But after that, not too much more. If you would like to join me for Random Fridays, please leave a comment below. Uh, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you liked the video, please click that subscribe button if you would like to see more from me. And I do hope that you have a very happy, scrappy, fun day. Bye.